Dr. Rodman here. In this segment I like to call, Where Do You Sit on Your Sits Bones? First off, what are your sits bones? If you feel up the back of your leg, where your hamstring is, all the way up towards the bottom of your pelvis, you'll feel a little bony projection right there. That's called your ischial tuberosity, or more commonly known as your sits bones. This, this area is the attachment of the hamstrings. It has a lot of ligaments on there. And also, it's a great landmark to let us know if we're predisposed to having lower back issues. Sitting is very important. We do it many hours during the day, whether we drive or whether we work. So our sitting position is extremely important. So I like to use the sits bones as a landmark as to how we're sitting. You can sit on your left, you can sit on your right, you can sit on the front of the sits bones, or you can sit on the back. And all this might lead to lower back issues. If you sit on the left of that sits bone a lot, or the right, and lean side to side asymmetrically, you're leading to a lot of shearing stress on the spine and the discs, which can lead to disc problems over time. So that's, that's one thing. You want to kind of try to feel how you're sitting. You want to be as balanced as possible. If you feel that you're sitting towards one side or the other, it may mean that your pelvis is out of alignment, and that's a good time to get checked out uh, by, by somebody who knows uh, how to help you out. Also, if you look at the spine, and here's your sits bones right here, the ischial tuberosity, that bone. The more, if you sit on the posterior aspect, it flattens your spine. If you sit on the anterior aspect, it, it increases the curve, which I'll show you right here. If I want to sit more on the front of my sits bones, you see my posture is nice. It's upright, and this is kind of how we should be sitting. This can be reinforced with a lumbar support, and now I'm sitting on the front or the anterior aspect. If I start to sit on the posterior aspect of those sits bones, you see how it changes my entire posture from low back all the way up to neck. It flattens out the spine, increases the mid-back curve, and gives me forward head posture, which can lead to neck pain, shoulder pain, and upper back pain and headaches. So it's very important while you, where you sit. So go ahead, next time you sit, feel those sits bones. Try to see if you're a left sitter or a right sitter, anterior or posterior, and uh, try to be really thoughtful of it, because that can lead to a lot of uh, help down the road.